This is the second video on how to make the boomerang. So in the first video, you made this triangle, and then you made the offset planes from this face here. So now what I have to do is start creating the, um, the guide path for the lofted feature. And in the lofted feature, it'll call these guide rails. Um, so let's go ahead and start making those. And like I alluded to in the first video, um, the best plan is really to create two guides. Don't create this as one continuous guide, create it as two. So I want one or the left one from this point to the tip, and then another sketch that has the right side from this point to the tip. That really is the easiest way to make this all work. All right, so I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to use the bottom plane, um, which is the same plane as the bottom origin plane, so your choice. Okay, I usually like to work from this angle. I'm gonna work straight from the top. The first thing I'm gonna do is use my project tool and use the intersection option. It's gonna make this work really well. So I'm gonna choose this point because I'm working on the left side first. And then I'm also going to intersect um, all these planes. Hopefully this will do what I want. Boom. So all these planes are now um, in this sketch, all right, which is exactly what I want. Now I'm going to put the points. You can see here in this drawing, there are some dimensions. I'm going to put points at those dimensions, and those are referencing a center line. So I'm going to put this center line construction in there as well. And I can just run it straight to the origin, to the end, and that's fully constrained. Perfect. All right. So let me put points in on each of these lines. Then I use my dimension tool and just replicate that dimension 9 9.53, 7.94, 11.43. And 13.97. And then this uh, last one is just intersected between this plane and your center line, right? It's essentially the very tip right here. So there we go. Now I can mirror this over to the other side. I can replicate it in the second one. I'm just going to do it the simplest way for me, which is to just um, replicate it in the next one. But now let's go ahead and do our arc. Now, if you do it this way, the arc is very, very simple. You're just connecting the dots, essentially. Okay. I get that point. Let's try that again. Didn't pick up that point. Let me start from the other side. So I'm going to go here to here and just make that one single arc and take it off construction. I'm going to go here to here and have it another arc. And then for the most part, this should be able to fit one arc. But you can disconnect them all yourself. They'll pretty much do it. We need tangent them anyways. It's not picking up that corner. Okay. I can make it do it by using the Incident. So I'm going to import that corner again for whatever reason it didn't work. Import. Now hopefully this should work. Oh, that's a little strange. There it is. Sometimes you got to zoom in on it. All right. Now I'm connected. Now make sure that I have tangents all the way across. Here to here. Here to here. Here to here. Oh, let's bring that back. And then lastly, from here to here, do not try and tangent the last one. It will not work. Let's try it again. It doesn't like that one. Sometimes it gets a little goofy. Um, if I delete that, then it'll let me tangent. Okay, now I can tangent. Go ahead and uh, the next video will show the next step.